Hey, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Waves of Steel, a game that you can get with the link down below in the description that upon looking at the Steam store page, this one immediately reminds me of games such as Ace Combat from the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era, and all the awesomeness of that uh, well, it was a simulator with some arcade in it and also a very interesting story slash campaign. And this game has a lot of the same. Well, today's episode is sponsored by the makers of Waves of Steel. So again, check it out with the link down below in the description if you're interested. And check this out. We have ourselves a full campaign with different missions. There's also a ship designer and bonus missions to be coming soon and or upon unlocking more things in the actual campaign. There's a free play mode. And what's really interesting here, mods. So this game kind of seems to take place during World War II. A lot of the ships and aircraft seem to be from World War II, but you'll see things like satellite dishes and whatnot. So I think it's a game that with the mods and other ship designers and other campaigns coming soon will span history probably starting in World War II all the way up to modern times with different types of weapons, submarines to hunt, and also uh, aircraft to fight. So there are threats both above, below, and on the sea itself. So join me as we take our first look at Waves of Steel. Thanks again for smashing the like button. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Let's get into it then for our first mission. The center cannot hold. Thanks again for your support. Let's go. All right, here we are. The center cannot hold. Looks like we're going to the Philippines. Yes, indeed we are. A naval base in the Philippines. Ah, uh, yeah. That classic goodness. That is classic. Look at those factories, homes, and communication, and more. Nichols. Captain on deck. At ease, Lieutenant Nichols. Let me introduce Captain Merriweather. She'll be joining us for our shakedown cruise. Pleasure to meet you, Lieutenant. Uh, yes, ma'am. Welcome aboard the Denali, ma'am. Ah, uh, relax, Lieutenant. I'm not here for a formal inspection. Just wanted to see people who will be protecting the Radis... Rat, Rat, Radis Ox? During the next leg of her journey. Oh, is this a carrier, perhaps? Captain Merriweather normally works with the Bureau of Ships. She's quite the expert at ship design, but was re a requested command of the Ratatosk. I love working for the Bureau, but I'm excited for the char a change of pace. The Ratatosk was calling to me, I suppose. Ooh. The Ratatosk, ma'am? That's right. She's my ship and an important new addition to the U.S. Navy. I'll be counting on you and your crew to keep her safe, Gwen. Now you can rely on us, ma'am. I know I can. You came highly recommended. And we're expecting any trouble. And we're not expecting any trouble. If I may, I'd like to see your ship's engines. Certainly. I'll right this way. This was one of my first ships I designed, you know. I've always wanted to see it in person. That's amazing. I'd love to pick your brain about your design. That's for another time, Lieutenant. Sound effect. Air raid siren sound. That must be uh, an air raid then. <laughs> I could only imagine. Uh, sirs, the harbor control reports unidentified ships have entered the harbor. Oh, I thought they said air attack. They've sunk our pickets and are demanding the surrender of all military forces in the base. Well, that could only be one thing. The enemy. What? Damn nation. Captain Merriweather, we're not safe in the harbor here. We need to... Uh, we need freedom to uh, maneuver. You better get the ship underway as soon as possible. Uh, yes, you're right. Engine room, raise full steam. Prepare for immediate departure. Nichols, escort Captain Merriweather off the ship. Yes, sir, Captain. Please come with me. We'd better hurry. All right, cool. Uh, play the combat tutorial. We're going to go ahead and skip that one. I've... Uh, I already jumped ahead and did a little bit, actually. So let's go into the mission. All right, so the ship name is Denali. We're a Clemson-class destroyer. Clear time, one second. Uh, what? I, oh, that must have just been the, uh, I guess, the little tutorial. Cool. All right, then. You can now use the ship designer. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so the first mission was just basically a tutorial. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with that. The cat's away. So that first mission, essentially the enemy comes into the harbor. They teach us just how to shoot and torpedo and ship, uh, change targets for the ships from ship to ship. But now we have the designer to take a peek at, so let's do that. Play the weapons tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and skip that. I just want to take a look around a little bit. So we can load previously created ships. It looks like the uh, game gives us a few to start with. We have things like uh, weapons, armor. We also have paint. We have flags and lights and additional decals. Looks like we can also choose the engine, propellers, um, 
Looks like the smokestacks and maybe other types of features like watertight doors to increase our weight, but also increase our durability and possibly our speed, depending on if we add or subtract things. Looks pretty capable, though, of adding a bunch of, yeah, weapons to these zones. So it looks like we can... Oh, yeah, nice. There's a symmetry mode. So we can make a big O ship if we want to, and then we can add as many guns or torpedo launchers as we can, as long as they're spaced out effectively. Now, this would be cool if we could actually take these ships into the Mission Maker, too, but we'll go ahead and... Uh, not have this ship saved when we're done goofing around but we do have a bridge engines they have sufficient ventilation so that's something you have to take uh, into account is actually uh, worrying about exhaust uh, we also have to have a asw capability anti-submarine warfare aa defense and all system slots are occupied we can also name the ship and add it to our fleet cool so we can also replay the tutorial go right into a testing grounds and we can also uh, remove a mass limit and create the ultimate battleship we can create the biggest battleship ever if we want to i suppose according to the limits of the game but yeah all good all right let's bail out of here and get into our next mission all right the cat's away you know what that means time to play we're going to guam no i'm just kidding it's guam <laughs> let's go oh that's an interesting looking ship there on the far right uh lieutenant nichols do you have any more information on the forces that attacked the philippines no sir we're still not sure where the ships came from or who had control over them damn it's bizarre Touch base with Admiral Weaver's staff to see if they know anything. Mm, I don't know, sir. I'm not sure if she'll answer. I gave you an order, Lieutenant. Uh, aye, sir. Radio static. This is Weaver. Over. Admiral, this is a welcome surprise. We weren't expecting to reach you directly. We were wondering if your staff knows anything more about the skirmish at the naval base. Uh, the skirmish? Oh, that's classified, Captain uh, Quinn, but I assure you, I'll tell you everything as soon as I can. Over. Classified? Ma'am. In the meantime, we've received a distress signal from our allies in Guam. Quinn, you're ordered to proceed to Guam to support the defense there. I'll send you uh, what we know, the tactical situation. The rest of the convoy will proceed to truck. You'll catch up with them over and out. By Admiral? Uh, oh, damn it. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Tell me about it. I'm sure the Admiral has her reasons. Right now, Guam needs our help. Damn straight. Oh, cool. We're going to get into some tactical planning here. Interesting. Uh, according to the intel that Admiral Weaver sent us, Guam is being attacked by a flotilla of amphibious assault ships. Backed by, Oh, they're going to try to land and take it over. Uh, backed by warships and torpedo boats. Oh, yep. There they are. Heading in from the west. Hmm. Nichols, look up our records. What defenses does Guam have? Sir, they have an air base and a few small shore guns. Hmm. That won't be enough to repel an enemy assault. If those landing craft are permitted to land, the soldiers on them will be extremely difficult to dislodge. Well, we'll have to prior uh, prioritize the destruction of many as many landing craft as possible. We'll deal the remaining damage to the enemy ships remaining afterwards. You got it. All right, let's get into some gameplay. Let's go. We have ourselves uh, four-inch guns. We have 21-inch uh, torpedoes, depth charges, and also uh, 70... Oh, it's a 75 caliber uh, anti-aircraft guns. All right, let's fire at the enemy. Looks like we have 60 of these. Let's just take a quick shot and see if that counts. Yes, indeed, it does. Sir, these are uh, ships are flying the same flag we saw at the Philippines. Oh, really? Perhaps it's actually uh, like Cobra Commander. From uh, G.I. Joe. We have all these cool little abilities to zip around. There's quite a few very popular uh, arcade-like uh, ship simulators like this in Japan that are very popular. And so I can see why this could definitely be appealing to quite a few. With the ability to knock out a bunch of enemy ships and continuously fire and customize our ships too. Uh, this campaign is really... I feel like these types of campaigns really serve as an interesting uh, delivery system for tutorials and how to play. So as we go on and on, the missions will get a lot harder than this. This is just kind of, you know, for fun. Uh, but then we can build our own ships, and there could be the possibility, maybe, in the future for a game like this, of multiplayer, where you can have some massive ships go against each other. Right now it's kind of just a comp stop, because there's no way, no way the enemy's going to trouble America. Even if we're taking, you know, side hits from torpedoes like that. But uh, let's go ahead and try to dodge these as best as possible. But that's exactly what we can do with our, like, turbo ability. Other games have... Abilities like that where you can speed up and uh, try to, you know, put down smoke screens, activate anti-aircraft guns, and more. So this is 
Apparently, what is that? Something we could use against the enemy? Maybe ammo? Oh, and they're launching a... Oh, we have ammo plus 25%. Wow, they're coming at us with torpedoes from everywhere. The PT boats are trying to fire off tons of torps. Let's go ahead and just fire blindly and see if we can hit something. Sir, the enemy forces from the landing ships have set up their own aircraft... Uh, their own airstrip and guns. We'll need to take them out to keep Guam secured. Damn. Oh, are we supposed to also get the landing ships? They've kind of distracted me with the whole PT boat thing going on. Oh, I think we just... I, I think we just sunk some. Nice. We now have a uh, new tech. Ah, so as we play this, we'll also unlock additional stuff for the creator mode. Oh, let's go ahead and rip and dip. There we go. Yeah, we're taking a ton of damage, but, like, on the right side... Yeah, we've taken, like, no damage. We've repaired a lot of everything. But this gives you lots of targets to destroy and shoot at all the time. Wow. Enemy ship is damaged and destroyed there. Looks like there's just the uh, patrol boat at about 800 uh, meters, I'm going to guess. Now let's just fire off torpedoes to see who we can hit. If we can hit. Hey, and we did. Good, so using the auto-aim is quite effective here. There are different difficulties for this one, too, so we can kind of adjust that as we want to. There are planes flying everywhere. Looks like they're trying to drop torpedoes. So, yeah, we have enemy aircraft nearby. Let's see if we can... Is there anything we can do to shoot ourselves? That says out of range, but... Oh, there we go. Hard to tell, though. I'm not seeing, like, um, any tracers. We just got to avoid enemy torpedoes while we now try to deal with the enemy landing craft. So, it looks like the enemy has taken over the airstrip. We've tried to do as best we can against the enemy ships. Now we got to support the ground troops who might be fighting against them. Looks like they've taken over the bunkers too? Really? Alright, let's keep on ripping and dipping. Six inch guns inside those uh, bunkers. Interesting that they put the bunkers on the other side of the airstrip. So literally as planes were taking off <laughs> they would have to be like flying under guns while like guns would be firing while they're taking off. Uh, good work, team. Let's head to truck and regroup with the rest of the convoy. Sending course for truck. Really, we ended the we can end the mission. Not bad. All right, so we destroyed the uh, enemy airfield defenses. I guess our troops are going to move in and recapture that. A little bit of a mess to clean up, but damn it, we did it. Good job. Everybody did a good job. Yep. So there's all the uh, brief. Uh, oh wait, this briefing reminds me a lot of uh, Goldeneye. But you can see objective one of stopping the landing ships we failed, but then allowed us to get a new objective, which was to destroy the enemy forces on shore. So I guess there's many different ways to play to where we could have, you know, headed them off at the pass and stopped the landing ships, then dealt with the navy and all the aircraft, or uh, you know, however you want to go about it. But ah, this way we got to experience more missions, more objectives. So I'm cool with that. And in that last mission, we shot down like uh, 15 enemy planes and destroyed like 15 PT boats, so not bad. Two days later, our new mission, Paralysis. We're at the uh, the Chuk or the Truck Islands. All right, let's go there. Good morning, sir. We'll be arriving in truck shortly. Excellent. We definitely need to restock. Uh, it seems like we have an incoming call from the Ratosok. Ratos? Ratos? Uh, Captain Quinn, the truck base has been conquered. We need your assistance immediately. Oh, damn. What? By who? Uh, maybe the forces behind the Philippines attack. They call themselves Yogamander. Yoga yeah, I think so, right? There is some military group demanding the surrender of the Ratatosk. Well, they want to capture our ships, huh? Why would they want the Ratatosk? I don't know. My escorts are holding them off for now, but we're surrounded and need your assistance. I can't believe the escorts let this happen. We're coming to you, Merriweather. Just hold on. Please hurry. Oh, boy. Engine yep, engine room full speed. We got a rip and dip, brother. Let's go. All hands, battle stations. Let's go, baby. All right. Two mission planning. Yep, so you have your little cutscene with kind of like some lore going on in the background, and then boom, right into mission planning. Uh, if truck is controlled by the enemy, we'll need to watch out for attacks from guns on the shoreline. Ah, so a little bit of a... Uh, naval bombardment this time. If I remember correctly, there was an airstrip or airstrips on these islands. If they haven't been destroyed by the invaders, then they we must assume they'll be using them. Oh yeah, you're right. They're going they're going to be using them. Uh, our top priority is rescuing the Ratatosk. I wish we knew exactly where it was. Her signal came from this location, sir. 
It's right in the middle. Oh, so we got to rescue not only the friendly ship, but also we get to see it for the first time and uh, attack these other islands. All right, we'll have their ASAP to protect. I, th I think we should go straight for our ship. Oh, well, beautiful. We have different weather conditions and beautiful lighting. Now, we also have the ability to, uh, you know, speed up, slow down, use special abilities, that kind of thing. We can go full bore if we need to. Two different modes to, like, basically ram if we want to. Wow, we are going absolutely turbo. Oop, no way to avoid that one. But let's fire back. Cool. So the Denali here, our main ship, I hope we get uh, command of that other ship. Let's get in there, though. Instead of uh, messing around with these guys, let's go straight to our objective to make sure the friendly ship does not get destroyed. We're going to go rescue first. I, I'm using my scroll wheel to see if I could like actually zoom in to see what's going on on that island. Looks like we have a windmill. Looks like there might be some radars, storage buildings, some factories. Back to our 50 cals. Let's use those torps instead. Wow, look at the smoke and fire coming out of those smokestacks, baby. Hell yeah. That's the power of a hemi. Ah, oh, there must be our friendly ship. Oh, that's the uh, Cruiser County? Lieutenant, get Meriwether on the radio. The Radisask isn't maneuvering. It's leaving us at a disadvantage. We need to make sure she's all right. All right. She's not answering. Damn. Hope she's all right. We must repulse the attack. All right. Where is that ship? That can't be it. Destroyer Sakura. Is it the carrier here? No, the Sakura is a friendly ship. I hope. Boy, there's such a mess here. It's hard to know who's who, actually. There we go. Ooh, some free stuff. More Sakuras. Yeah, they're shooting at us, so let's just shoot back. Honestly, the ships look very similar, so... I'd rather, like, err on the side of caution, but then we're going to die. Ah, with the command ship out, too, these uh, smaller destroyers kind of lose their ability to fight. Something that they cover in the tutorial as well, that there's a chain of command, and that these ships will kind of, um, I guess, be stunned if they lose their commanding ship. Stun lock! They'll be stun locked, and so it gives you the perfect opportunity to attack them. Wow, barely avoided that torpedo. That was the size of the ship. Love all the planes flying around, too. Nice little drive-by there. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to shoot at whoever's shooting at me, because that's really the only way to tell. I'm sure I've destroyed my own ships at the moment, but it's a little hard to tell. F uh, destroy enemy ships 5 out of 10. Let's go for those Sakuras. More torpedoes away. Ooh, had an opportunity to turn. Nice, one ship blown out of the water there. Come on, nice. That's got to be our uh, main ship there. We're the only one here. There we go. All right, that's the last of the attackers. Nichols contact. Uh, Sir, reinforcements spotted to the northeast. They have an aircraft carrier. Oh, we better take them out and quickly. Their friendly ship responding. No, sir. Well, we'll have to stop the aircraft before they can do damage. Come about and tell the crew to prepare for combat again. Hi, sir. Uh, your ship has point defense weapons, which will automatically fire at the enemy aircraft. You want to control them manually, press tab and select them. Oh, cool. So that's an actual helpful thing. It's anti-aircraft fires automatic, but we can always uh, shoot on our own. Now, what's going to be cool here is we can use our ship designer. Wow, that looked like a modern fighter, but it was a propel plane. Uh, but yeah, what's really cool is going through this campaign again. If we can get to a point where we can go through and 
play with our own ships, it would really mix things up, give ourselves a massive advantage, massive disadvantage, make existing ships of modern day as close as possible, or from World War II. Both real and fictional ships would be kind of cool. We got a 50 caliber up there? Okay. Let's just destroy everything. So the Ratatosk is actually a friendly... Why don't even... A landing ship? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, take that lighthouse. That's right. It, know what it, it, it knows what it did wrong. Well, let's just keep attacking bunkers. Nice. Are those missiles coming in? Those did not seem to just be like, you know, bombs from a dive bomber. Now, with this also being the first couple of missions, it's probably likely that we'll see a lot more game mechanics later on. And a lot more weapons. And a lot more firepower. A lot bigger ships. A lot more enemy aircraft that can do a lot more damage in a shorter time. Hi there. I did a little torpedo run as quickly as I could. I don't know if I saw them, but I did shoot them. They're reloading now. I hope our ship here is like some sort of a crazy, crazy design. I'm not sure exactly what they designed it for, but... Oh, there's the enemy aircraft carrier. Oh, nice. We don't have to get too close to pick up the box of supplies. Now let's go for their carrier now. Try to fire off to two sides here. Oh, excuse me, sir. Doing some war here. Thank you. There we go. All right. And we have ourselves an airship, but... I mean, an airstrip, but... All right. Our ship is safe. However, other uh, escorts are damaged, and they'll have to stay behind for repairs. So, it'll be us protecting them again. Worse than that, sir, the chief engineer is reporting that the number two turbine's pressure vessel uh, developed several leaks during the last fight. It'll be offline until we can repair it. Oh... So we don't get our special abilities. We can at best make 50% oh, of our rated speed. Interesting. We can get ship malfunctions during combat. Very nice. Uh, I'm here, and our ship is just fine. That's good to hear, Captain. We were worried about you. What now, sir? Well, we can't maneuver any better than you could. Captain, this ship needs to stop for repairs. Uh, yes, we can. Bring your ship into dock, and we'll take a look at the damage. Oh, ho, ho. well, now we'll see the capabilities of our ally. And there's our ship. Doing nice work. There we go. That's a full clear. Take a look at all of our stats. Shots fired. 1,000 shots from our 75 caliber anti-aircraft gun. Uh, four from the 50... Or 4 inch uh, slash 50 cal. And then 21 inch torps. Huh. Oh, but it does say what we sank, so... Uh, 14 destroyers. Wow. Four cruisers and a carrier. Enemy carrier loss. That's huge. Big, 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 big win for us. Go America. All right. Well, that's going to be it for our time today for our first look at Waves of Steel. The devs have even made some custom skins for me and other things to include in future builds to which I'm really interested in building my own ship and giving it a try when I complete the campaign and or try some free play stuff, which of course allows us to make our very own missions too. So of course in free play, we can go ahead and set things up to have a certain number of enemy ships, allies, tiers, and classes. So we have everything from like, uh, you know, giant battleships to also destroyers and PT boats and lots of cool uh, carrier battles that could be occurring as well as a customization of the wind, rain, and other weather effects, which is quite cool. All right, guys, go ahead and click down below in the description if you'd like to check out Waves of Steel for yourself. As always, add it to your wish list on Steam and, you know, take a look for demos or whatnot in the future, too, if you want to give it a try. And, uh, you know, there, any game could always get that, and it'd be cool to try that out and give it a shot and build your own ship and enjoy it. So thank you again for checking out the video. Thank you for watching, and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks again, folks, for dropping by.